love the way the air feels in my lungs first thing in the morning. Step outside, listen to the birds, listen to life happening. Feel that fresh, cool air. Man. It's a great time to be alive. It's a great time to be a bad motherfucker, too. Like you. <laughs> What is up, my friends? Good morning. It is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful Wednesday morning. You're in Arkansas. That's enchilada day. Go to your local enchilada store and purchase some enchiladas. Enjoy the fuck out of that shit. I hope you got good enchiladas where you're at, because where I'm at, Ah, man, they're fucking delicious. I just want to log in this morning and tell you that I love you, and I care about you, and I'm thinking about you, and I'm praying for you. And I want to talk about DACA. President Obama signed DACA, presidential order. When he did it, he said, I know this is unconstitutional. I know that I can't legally do this. But I'm going to do it until Congress can come up with a permanent fix for these people, which they don't want to do. He didn't say that part, I don't think. Now, Trump comes along. Trump says, I want you to fix this situation. We need to come up with a fix. So I'm not going to re-up DACA. A presidential order, an unconstitutional presidential order. He says, I'm going to force you to do your job, Congress. Chuck Schumer says, no, we ain't going to do that. We want to keep this as an issue for voting. We want to hold on to them immigrants and make them our bitches. Because apparently they're not smart enough to know at least he thinks so, that they are the ones who are keeping them from becoming permanent citizens. It's not Donald Trump. If you think Donald Trump is trying to do something nefarious to these immigrants, and you can't call them kids. They're not DACA kids. Most of them are fucking adults. I think 2012 was a cutoff for DACA. So, Trump wants to force Congress to do their jobs. So he ends the DACA program and tells them, well, no. He actually gave them six months to come up with a fix and said, I'm going to end it in six months. I'm not going to end it right now and start deporting motherfuckers. I'm going to end it in six months and give you time, Congress, to do your job and come up with a permanent fix for DACA. That means making these people or setting them on the path to citizenship, if not just granting them asylum and citizenship. Got to build the border wall and put big beautiful gates in it, as Trump says, in order to stop the mass flow. Now you could say, most of these people, and I hear Juan Williams a lot, and a lot of liberal assets say, uh, well, most people, most immigrants are the illegal, overstay their visas. They come in through the border, ask for asylum, get an asylum or a visa, a work visa, and then just don't show up again. So you see, they get these visas because they came across the border illegally. So there's a moot point. Congress needs to come up with a fix. Congress needs to act. Now, now there is a judge, they, they're saying a Bush appointed judge. It doesn't mean he's not a liberal judge. That just means Bush appointed him. Bush made a lot of horrible decisions. 
The ninth district is about to be reformed, by the way. Isn't that going to be lovely? Since they don't understand the Constitution. But this judge just told Donald Trump, no, you can't rescind an illegal and unconstitutional presidential order in order to force Congress to do their job. I suggest that Donald Trump completely ignore this asshat because he has no jurisdiction over presidential orders. None. He thinks he does. None. The president and the president alone decides presidential executive orders, whether they're enforced or not, whether they're orders still or not. He can rescind or add or do whatever the fuck. This is one of them situations where it's, it's absolutely an obvious overreach. Yet the left will just praise the hell out of it because it's something against Trump. They don't even care if it's hurting the same people that they're pretending to want to help. Because if not for DACA being rescinded, Congress ain't got to do shit about them people. They can leave them in fucking limbo. They will never become citizens. Because Congress won't do shit. This judge is ensuring that these people are hurt. Republicans need to do a better job of pointing this out. Donald, if you watch my videos, I know you don't, but Donald Trump, ignore this judge. You should get on TV in front of a television, in front of his cameras, at a podium or whatever the fuck, you should stand out there. Just like you told that ass hat yesterday, that's a stupid question. No, I'm not gonna pardon him. Michael Cohn, he needs to tell this judge, fuck you. He needs to get, um, I mean literally, he needs to get up and tell this judge that is a presidential order of which you have no jurisdiction. Fuck you. I think that would work out just great. I think it would cause a huge uproar. But we put that judge where he needs to be. They need to just completely ignore that decision. DACA is rescinded. And there's nothing a judge can do about it. And if there is, that's a constitutional crisis. If they want to talk about constitutional crisis, there are all kinds of crises involving these courts and Donald Trump. Because he can do things as president that are his right to do. And they're trying to impede and obstruct. To me, hashtag resist and hashtag obstruct are treasonous actions. You're not trying to stop some rogue motherfucker who just took power from doing whatever the hell he wants. You're trying to stop a president who was elected legally and rightfully from doing his job as president. It's treason. It's not politics. This goes way beyond politics. This is treason. You got liberals left and right bitching constantly. I, I hear them all the fucking time. Trust me. Twitter is a fucking ridiculous liberal atmosphere. On which I get attacked all the time, but I love arguing with these idiots. The people praising, oh, Donald Trump, he, he's evil. He's doing this. He's doing that. You know, it's, it's just stupid. Because if not for Donald Trump, a lot of things would not be happening. North Korea would not be talking right now. Even if nothing comes out of that, it's a start. There's going to be several meetings. It's going to take time. I am really surprised that there ain't some judge or some somebody trying to stop him from talking to fucking North Korea. All they're doing right now is trying to make it impossible for him to negotiate by trying to make him seem weak amongst our, our people. But he's not. He's, in, he's coming from a position of strength. 
He's doing it right. He's negotiating the shit out of this. He's got China where he wants him. He's got Japan where he wants him. Oh, and playing golf? Where do you think he became friends with President Xi from China? Or Emperor Xi now? Or, or uh, President Moon from uh, South Korea? Huh? President Abe from Japan? All on the golf course. Here's a NBC is doing. Oh, President Trump! I spent 109 days at his golf course, 100 or 109 days playing golf, 140 something days at his golf course, and he's been in office 300 and something. That that doesn't fucking matter. He's working. He can do anything and everything that he can do on Air Force One or in the White House. He can do all of that from Trump Tower, which he doesn't go to anymore, or Mar-a-Lago. He can do that. Now, a lot of presidents go to uh, Camp David or, or they, they go and do whatever. Reagan, his last year, spent a shit ton of time on vacation. I can tell you, obstruction is treason. Chuck Schumer is a piece of shit. Nancy Pelosi, piece of shit. Adam Schiff, fucking piece of shit. Maxine Waters, 70% of women want Trump impeached. Are you fucking stupid? Wait a minute. Yeah, you're fucking stupid. I have talked long enough, but I do want you to know that I love you and I care about you and I'm praying for you and I'm thinking about you. Pray for our president, Donald Trump. Pray that these cocksuckers stop what they're fucking doing trying to hurt our president because that's all that's going on right now collusion gone collusion wasn't even illegal conspiracy what the fuck is that no now Hillary Clinton and all these motherfuckers are under the fucking microscope yes and I hear there are emails somewhere between Barack Obama and someone else talking about how they're going to fuck Trump over coordinating all this shit. Sally Yates was the one that told McCabe to stop the fucking investigation into Hillary's emails. There's all kinds of shit fixing to come out. Oh my God, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time. And they are just hurrying, trying to fuck Trump before this can happen. And now, their people are fucking going down. Trump, yeah, he's getting better and better and better. Check out the Hayes brothers, two black gentlemen who are NRA members and who love, love the Second Amendment. They like Donald Trump. The Hayes brothers, yeah. If you want another opinion, yeah, go get that. They're a great channel. Ken Wright, I love your brother. Y'all have a good day. Roger Papa, I'm praying for you. I love you. Gator, my friend, Gator's World. I'm, I've been praying for you. I hope you're feeling better too. All right, I'm going to get off here. I love you. Have a good one. Little doggy.